Yo, what is up, Z fam? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, we got you an absolute. <clears throat> I didn't. Uh, I didn't do my vocal warm ups, so I'm gonna blame it on that. All right. Um, in today's video. We, uh, not only do we have for you a banger, we have an Inside the Mind of Z Laner, a new episode of Inside the Mind of Z Laner. Basically, if you guys haven't watched this series before, it just gives you a nice little deep dive into what I am thinking about, the decision making, all that kind of stuff while I'm playing the game. So I jump into a solo match, and the entire time I'm playing the game, I just, you know, step by step, I sort of just break down what it is I'm thinking about. The moves I'm making, why I'm making the moves I'm making, so that you guys can watch and maybe learn a thing or two uh, from, uh, you know, uh, such a f f pro, man. I'm such a f And my ego is huge. Um, So is my... Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And last but not least, turn on the bell notifications so you're always notified when I'm uploading new content to the channel. Folks, enjoy the video. All right, folks, let's go. Uh, I'm going to drop it Superstore here because you guys know I love dropping hot. If you're trying to get better at the game, I always say it. Do not worry about your KD. Do not worry about winning the game. I understand a lot of people play this game because I understand the, the goal is to win uh, for a lot of people. But how do you win the game? You have to be able to win most of your gunfights. How do you win most of your gunfights? Getting in a lot of gunfights. That is how you're going to get better at the game. So land hot if you're trying to get better at it. No shot. Uh. I, I, this guy has the most insane head glitch. Thank you for the helicopter. Okay, sorry, I haven't really been doing much explaining because this game has been so hectic off the rip. Are you f***ing me right now? Are you kidding me? Okay, man. This guy's already got his loadout. Come on, man. I'm landing back on his head. Let it right back on his head, man. Oh, by the way, we're not in a normal solo game. We're in a buyback solo. I understand the game is usually played in normal solos, but you guys can still get a very good understanding of how I'm trying to play the game, even though it's buyback solos. I'm just trying to play some buybacks because uh, buyback solos are fun as hell. That guy was on a nasty, nasty little head glitch. You always want to be taking different angles. You don't want to... Like, notice in that last gunfight, you can rewind it if you need to. Uh, but I was hitting him from different... Uh, it was just different angle after different angle after different angle. Uh, someone might think I'm talking about sexual intercourse. Uh, that's kind of not what I'm talking about. Uh, but if they were blindfolded, folded, and listening to the words coming out of my mouth, that's what they'd be thinking I'm talking about. But it's not. Uh, I'm talking about different positions over and over and over again. That's what you need to be doing. All right, we have enough for a loadie. There was another guy here with a loadout we got to be careful about. I'm going to throw it closer in by the door so I can move to the inside, use some cover. If I need to. Check my surroundings. See if anyone's in the area. See a vehicle up on my mini-map. Just rolled up. Take this guy out of the game. All right, let's get a bounty going. Try to get some cash flow going. Uh, there's one over here. Anyone need this? Helicopter in the sky. Always just always being aware, chat. Always being aware. Looking at the mini map. Back, back at the game. Look at that. You don't even need a UAV up, and I can tell someone's over here. Obviously, I can hear those shots, but still, now I know exactly where this person is. Going to hop out of the vehicle. 
And I'm gonna get fucking shit on. Never mind, I'm not gonna get shit on, but I played that like trash. But it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes just having that big D energy and just challenging everybody, no matter the circumstance, sometimes it works in your favor. Sometimes you just overwhelm the enemy and there, there's nothing they can do. The guy out here, two guys back here flying, one guy back here by the heli, or the, not the heli, but the plane. This guy's inside the thing. Gold gas mask, I'll take it. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. Another car rolling up here. This is what I'm talking about. Always looking at the mini map. And being aware of your surroundings. Helicopter above. You do not need a UAV to be up in the sky to use your mini map. I'm telling you, I can't. I can't say it enough. I, I, I'm assuming, was that the same person as last time that flew over? Wouldn't be surprised. Enemy UAV overhead. Holy shit, people are just coming to me nonstop. That guy's not got no plates on. All right, we're just getting free kills, I guess. Let's get another UAV up, get some more information. And someone on top of corner right here. I'd like to mark them as well while the UAV's up. Try to get as much info as I can. Uh, even though I'm driving towards this guy. All right, so we know someone else is in factory. So while I finish up this gunfight, I know I can push over to factory next. He ran in here. Oh my god, shit on. We know there's more guys at factory, even though they're not in the UAV anymore. Again, just making sure we use all, like, all of the UAV. You don't just want to, you don't just want to, like, use it, try to find a guy, push him, and then boom, you don't know where anyone else is. When, while it's up, take as much advantage of it as you can. You know, mark the next location you want to push. Uh, we're going to try to circle through UAVs over and over and over again and push as many people as we can because this is how you get better at the game and get higher kill games. Just going to scan the area, try to bait them out. Try to Usually a lot of the time I'm just driving around trying to bait the player to shoot at me. Trying to bait them out, bait them out, bait them out, and then you'll see me drive up next to them, especially in solos, man. Solos are super, super easy. You got one person to focus on. It's very, very straightforward. I mean, obviously you can have third parties in your fights, but one, one player per team or... That's, that's all it is. Very straightforward. All right. Uh, I'm going to go hit that loadout and get Ghost, but I'm going to grab this bounty before I do that. I see a guy just right here. Again, always being aware of our, aware of our surroundings. going to hop up on this and use the head glitch. And he's just gone forever. Objective is to eliminate the, the bounty up. Uh, by the way, I threw down an ammo crate earlier too to be able to get my nades back. Sometimes if you if you see an ammo crate on the ground and you have no uh, nades or no C4 or no throwing knives, whatever you're using, thermites, anything, uh, throw it on the ground. Take a second, throw it on the ground. Replenish your lethals, man. Uh, that lethal kill, that Semtex kill I just got on that other guy was huge, man. Semtex, Semtexes are, are really, really useful. I don't know where this person is. He could be flying in this. Oh, there he is, I think. Oh, I reach out him on this side. I mean, basic, basic reach out. Basic reach out in that situation, like not the most insane thing ever. Usually when you're in a scenario like this, where I hop out of the vehicle, I kind of misjudged it a little bit. I thought I saw the red tip of this guy's head right here. So I was like, all right, I think I see him by the box. I got out, but I got out kind of in a tough situation. So what I did was I knew I couldn't just take the gunfight straight up. I can't just take this gunfight. He already got the first shot on me. I'm probably going to die. So aim for the cover. Keep going this way. Make him think I'm going this way. And they always, I mean, obviously, unless they're a little bit more skilled, they always are going to turn over here. They're going to think that I'm going this way. And then I quickly, quickly hit them with a reach out. And uh, there's not really much they can do. Not really much they can do. I'm sure you'd agree. Got this bounty up here in the Bertha. He's getting out of the Bertha. He's going to try to chow. I'm going to hop out. Use this as cover. Hop up on it. And wow, I got beamed. Nice shots. Nice shots. Probably shouldn't have hopped up on top there. Probably should have ran around the right side, but it's okay. We're fine. We're fine. He hit me with a couple shots at first, too. That kind of got me weak. If I wasn't... Uh, if I didn't let him hit me with that, I would have been fine. Uh, looks like he's going to take off in the Bertha, so I am going to land back. This guy's shooting at him right there. He's going to stay in his vehicle, it looks like. There, he's getting back out. 
Oh, here's the opportunity. And I fucking don't pick up the gun. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I missed the gun. Pick my shit back up. 50 this guy got out of his vehicle. He's going to try to chow me here. I guess. He's kind of just looking for the angle. He's using the vehicle to, to see me in third person, which is a really good, really good move. This guy's not bad at all. Um, the move around the right-hand side. Remember, there was a guy over here. He ran in that building. We got to be aware of that. He's probably going to be very close to me here. Got to be very careful. Uh, this guy got out of his birthday. He got back out of it. He's using it as kind of... Kind of as cover. I'm going to turn this to the side here and try to do the same thing. Again, got to keep in mind there's someone behind me most likely. Could be down here in this little thing. It doesn't look like it. I'll try to clear this guy out first so I can move without thinking about someone behind me. I'm going to trade off vehicles here because that one's kind of weak and he's going to try to beam it again here. He's sitting. He's just chilling in his vehicle. He's just trying to He's just trying to get information. Uh, you're insane. <laughs> Little... Oh, shit. Hold on now. Let's run her along the right side or left side here. Use this as cover a little bit. See him. Ah, he's just got an insane angle. Oh, and he's got me on the heartbeat. That's unfortunate. Well played, well played. All good, all good. Oh, it spawned us in the middle of nowhere. Love it, love it, love it. I kind of just want to get aggressive now that we died and don't have our loadie. I just want to try to get my loadie as quick as possible and fight this person and get their cash. I feel pretty confident being able to fight them. I've seen some shots right in front of me in between these square buildings. I'm actually going to do something a little risky. I'm going to buy a UAV so I don't have a res, but... Now I know where this person is. Here we're at. Little UAV, put that up. Um, two guys right here. One guy just got killed. One more on top of this building. Okay. I'm going to leave that guy marked. So he's up on top of a hotel. Another guy looks like he's in the sky, but to fly in. There he is. He's down low. He's down low. Someone up top, though, in the sky. This guy's got no plates. Because he just landed in. Still a guy on the ground over here, somewhere in this area. Still a guy on top of that hotel. At least one over here. From what we saw earlier. And he's still here. Gas is in. Guy down low on the bottom corner here. Bottom corner of the building. Oh, I can see him. I... Oh, shit. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. What do you have a UAV up? Oh, wait. Are you... Oh, wait. You're level 1001, which is not possible uh, with how long the season's been out. Or at least I don't think it's possible. I think this guy might be hacking. I kind of want to land on this guy and, uh... I kind of want to land on this guy and see what he does. Because for those of you that don't know, there is a... 
There is a hack that allows you to unlock your levels and your guns and all that shit uh, without even having to play the game. Like, you just... You just level, you just max all your stuff. Just like back in the day with like modded lobbies on like Modern Warfare 2 and shit like that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's in this, that's now in this game as well. You can basically just get everything unlocked and have level 1,000. Yeah, see, that's, that's him again right there. Guaranteed that guy is f***ing hacking. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I'm down to land on him too. I don't know why he shows level 1001 as well. It's kind of weird. Let's prove a point. There's no way this guy would expect me to jump way off over here. There's just no way. And let's see if he knows exactly where I am when I when I peek. Oh, you could have heard that though. That's him. And I get f***ing headshot sniped! By the wrong player? No! No, we don't get to spectate this guy. No, we don't get to spectate this guy. Maybe he'll maybe this guy will kill him though. He might he might kill him. He might kill him. Yeah, like look at that beam, bro. I mean listen, I got a beam on me. Don't don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 this guy seems to be it's the level one one thousand and one that, that is kinda making me think, but I, don't know, I could I could be completely wrong. I just want to spectate him so we can see. Just to be certain. There he goes. Oh, no. Don't snipe him. Come on, man. No! I mean, yes! I mean, yes! Get him out of the game. But no. Now we can't spectate him. Oh, shit. All right. Whatever. 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 GG's regardless of the uh, of whatever that, whatever that guy was doing. If he was or wasn't. GG's.